In this video, I would like to show you how to upgrade this 15 inch uh, Siemens um, touch panel from CCFL to our UB36 series LED kit. This LED kit including two LED strips, one LED driver, and one wire adapters. There's no, so no soldering required. It's quite straight and forward to, to upgrade from CCFL to our uh, UB series. Let's set aside the LED kit for a second. Take a look at uh, this, um, what you call is a Siemens. Cinematic PC, panel PC, okay. So the model, oh, it's so damn heavy. Okay, it's here. Hope you can see it. A5E001595514. So first thing, we need to remove all the screws. There's two type of screw that you all using, all using a star head screw. So you have to remove it, take the back cover out first. So I took out all the other screws. This is the last screw I'm took out. Um, so here's a cover first, take this one first, and then this connector. Um, if you want, you can mark it, but usually, I mean this, no, you make a marking, and then you take it out. It is connected before you lift up the back cover. This connector actually is for this cable. Okay. <coughs> Let me take it out. Okay, this cable should be here. Yep. All right. So here, the next thing is that we need to, this is the screen connectors. This is the touch screen. I think this is the, this is a, uh, the inverters. So there's a whole bunch of screws. First thing we need to do is that we had to remove this board. In order to remove this board, then we had to take out this cover, I mean uh, touch screen. So on this end, there's a click here. <coughs> Give up a little bit to disconnect it. Yeah, it's all there. Okay. This two connector looks like the same. I want to see this will touch screen. This is powerful for inverter, but I'm going to make a marking just in case. Okay. So I'm gonna take it out, and this is for the USB touch screen. I'll show you. It's connected to here USB. Okay. So there's one here and one there. I show you. It's same thing. Disconnected. Okay. And then this one we already do the markings. Good. Just take it out. Okay, this one. Okay. If it's out of this end, you also need to do it. The flat cable, same thing. Okay. <coughs> this one. Screen wire connector, yeah. Alright, so next thing, we're going to remove all the screw, take it out, and lift up this end. Okay. You're going to lift up the board. <coughs> and then disconnect the. Touch screen, you push up this nuts and this thing. <coughs> okay, so next thing we're gonna take out a this back cover. Uh, I mean, back chassis is four by four screw. One, one, two, three, four. Then we can lift up and see what kind of screen is it. So all screws out. <coughs> I can try to lift up this back the chassis. Okay, as you can see, this is on the other side. And see, this is the touch uh, USB, this is touch screen. This is, uh, what is this is just for the light, indicate light. Okay, all right, side to side. Because uh, <coughs> this is the chassis, we just take it out. I'm gonna flip over. So this is the screen. Well, we still have to remove four screws in order to see the screen. Well, the last screw's out. Um, let me leave up this. Oops. Oh, this is the things that we need to save. Start. All right. <coughs> Let's set it aside, the chassis. Another metal chassis. <coughs> Check this out. This is the inverters. Two lamp inverter, and this is the connector that connect to 
here. Okay. Screen is made by NEC. You see this NEC screen? Okay. And the uh, 10276AC30-04R. Next video, we're gonna remove the inverter and then we're gonna remove the lamp and uh, show you how to upgrade it. Now, we just removed the chassis, two metal chassis. Now, this is a screen. So, uh, we know this NG screen, 15 inch. So, right now, we need to remove the inverters and then uh, we install our LED backlight back to the same locations. First, we disconnect the, the uh, CCF lamp and then. Uh, Remove the inverters. There's only one screw holding the inverter. And this is the click. You see this? This is a plastic click you need to uh, move out. Okay. All right. So basically, um, this one is actually, here's how the connection is. This is connected to here. Okay. This is connected here. Mm, let me see here. Yeah, should be this one. Be careful, should be this one. This click. Yeah. Okay. Set it aside. And then take a look at uh well this connect this point first. Uh, and then uh, see that uh, I see there's a click here. Hopefully you can see it. See that? Push down the click. Grab the wire, pull it out. Oh, I can pull it out. That's lucky. Because sometimes it's a little bit difficult. The reason because the lamp's on, it gets really hard, smell down the plastic a little bit. So just be careful. Uh, this is the same thing, you know, and uh, push it down. Oh, easy. This one's easy one. Okay. So you're gonna pull out. Okay. Pull out. Okay, make sure it's clean. Okay, set the screen aside. Take a look at the reflector. Wow, look at this. Look at that. It's completely degrayed. For the, I mean, there's a re re refreshing sheet was all destroyed. This is a refreshing sheet. It's special, you see that? It's all bad. Well, it's this end is solder, right? You can just use your cutter to cut it off. Well, before you do that, I forgot. I'm gonna try to see this one, it's gonna mesh. Perfect. You can mount it back to the same locations. I mean, same reflectors. Then apply it back. But I, you know, you can just simply use the cutter to cut it off and cut this end off, take it out. But I usually I will do the desoldering. So I'm gonna go desoldering, and then uh, after I desolder, take the lamp out, uh, clean out these reflectors, and then show you how to put it back.